All right, I'm back. It's 11.52 p.m. at night. So, this is another quick video. Um, so, I have a lot going on. A lot going on. Um, this video won't... won't I'm going to try to make it less than five minutes. And it won't be until after midnight that it will um, probably be done uploading. So, any of you real Christians, can you please keep me in your prayers? I'm under attack really heavy from every angle, both online and in person and dealing with family issues, with me losing my brother, and then um, um, me hearing that my brother Derek wants to have words with me. Um talking about me telling family business when I'm being gang stalked. I'm in this gang stalking program and exposing everything family or not. And I've never been family to y'all. So why y'all so mad at me telling the truth? So um I, I don't I don't know if it's verified or not. But people came in my live stream chat telling me that the family said that the funeral was postponed until September fifteenth. And that's Sunday. And that's my great nephew's birthday. But Wyatt's birthday is in a few minutes, you know. So a lot of stuff that was said, especially online, it has not even really been verified, you know. Um, and I'm hearing that the family is conspiring to um, have me wrongfully um, committed to the mental institution when I haven't done anything worthy of it. People are out here trying to kill me. Satanic cult members. And I can't really trust many people, especially so many people became satanic and turned against me, you know. And so many people are conspiring to take me down and proud of it and bragging directly to my face. You know, not physically face to face, but more like, um, like the online communication like directly to me like talking directly to me you know so <clears throat> excuse me this fake online stalker um named truthy or something like that try to encourage miss vicky to falsely report me for her cyberbullying and harassment Documenting my gang that y'all are gang stalking me and turned against me. That's not cyberbullying. But what y'all are doing to me is cyberbullying. And Miss Anna is I'm I'm sorry. That's my sleep deprivation talking. Miss Vicky is threatening me with lawsuits and jail time. And saying, Well, oh, she doesn't have any money to be sued. So so then oh you know she she'll have to do some jail time. Jail time for what? And Miss Vicky is going in community posts on her fake new YouTube channel and um posting I mean sharing videos to her community posts on videos of everything she can find on YouTube about the gang stalkers and sex traffickers and Freemasons and cult members slandering me and lying on me and trying to make me look crazy and trying to make me look bad. So for me to document, this is what Miss Vicky is doing. This is what the fake Darnell Williams perp is doing. This is what this person is doing. This is what that person is doing. Y'all falsely accuse me. I'm the one being cyber bullied. And them threatening making death threats at the, the the stalkers making death threats at me and bullying and harassing me every day 
So they pay him as Vicky to um gang stalk and, and try to threaten and try to scare me, try to bully, frighten and threaten and scare me into silence and not speaking on what I'm going through and and what they're all doing to me. I think Miss Vicky was a perp from the beginning. And they threatened Anna Estrada. They threatened her. Threatening her cat. They threatened Anna and they threatened her cat. And have her so scared that she was missing school for a few days. And they, they keep trying to, you know, hunt, hunt for and find her and everything. So Anthony took all his videos down on that fake channel, on that fake OG Darnell Williams channel where him and the actual fake Darnell Williams perp share a channel. He did not create a character named Darnell, Darnell Williams. They are two different people. And they're, playing, they're doing nothing but playing games. But I know the difference between Anthony and the actual fake Darnell Williams perp. And Anthony made another fake apology again. And he, and he just need to leave me alone. They all need to leave me alone. Leave me alone. Mind y'all business. And stay away from me. But I don't think Miss Vicky, I, I really, I don't think they just recently turned Miss Vicky into a perp. They, they, um, I think she been a perp. I think she was been a perp and just played fake nice for a bit. And then once she got, I mean, once I caught on to her starting to show, you know, starting to show herself, reveal herself and doing perp things. And now she wants to threaten me with lawsuits in jail and bully me. And they have a whole gang army of like hundreds and would feel like hundreds and maybe even thousands of people. To stalk, follow, and harass, and and more people harassing and stalking and trying to attack me now. More and more people are betraying and turning against me because Anthony and the fake Darnell Williams perp threatening the life. Excuse me, they hit me with weapons. <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me. Um. So Anthony's still trying to discredit me. You know, but him trying to talk about him trying to control how he thinks my donations should be spent. And so just leave me alone. I'm like, Anthony, you're not my husband. I'm not married to you. Why are you obsessed with me anyway? Leave me alone. And I did not do him dirty. Anthony. I mean, other people had exposed him as a um a police informant for the LA, LAPD. And Anthony believes in a great grand architect of the universe. Anthony is in, was indirectly admitting that he's a Freemason. Stay away from me, Anthony. I am keep telling you numerous times, stay away from me. Leave me alone. I mean, you've been mad at me since, like, November, no, December, November or December 2021. And you're still stalking, following, and harassing, and bullying me when I'm not even doing you anything. Leave me alone. So this video turned out to be longer than I intended. <coughs> Excuse me. So I had help with, um... $30 today. It was going to be 40 But they had a fake perp yesterday and today. You know, now, wait, now it's midnight, huh? Yeah, now it's Tuesday, September 10th, 2024 at 12.01 a.m. in the morning. It's my brother Wyatt's birthday. He would have been 45. I still can't believe what happened to him. <coughs> Excuse me. So, 
they said that my twin sister has another new channel, but I, I, I don't know what it is yet. And, um, and they're saying that my twin sister said that, I mean, I mean, said that my brother wants to have word. One of my brothers wants to have words with me. Well, they said that she said that, but I don't know if that's verified or true or not. You know, so I mean, I'm documenting everything that I'm going through and, and what they're doing to me. They got Miss Vicky on board. I think Miss Vicky already was a perp, just like Lisa Turner was already a perp. And some of these other agents like this truthy or Dreamweaver or whatever, and, and they use 3333 in their, in their username. New Age or Satan worshippers, you know, occultists, witches, Freemasons, they're all attacking me. They're all attacking me. So, please pray for my channel and pray for my life because they're threatening to take my life. They're threatening to get rid of everything about me, both both online and in person. The satanic stalkers are talking about my demise for 2024. I mean, Miss Vicky already had her name publicized on here. You know, so for me to document that I'm being gang stalked, they want to falsely report me for cyberbullying and harassment. But Miss Vicky is, you know hunting for every gang stalking video gang stalker smear campaign video there is and sharing it to her YouTube channel to, to um you know put me out there to look bad and calling me manic and saying that I need help Miss Vicky is and daughter of the king Jethro or whoever else um and that bully um Blessed AF and they they're all like working for the devil. The fake aggressive defiance TV scooter beggins uh, authorized personnel dog soldier whatever his name is uh the fake Darnell Williams perp Anthony and um multiple other you wish three seventy eight all of them and and more and others and for y'all to sit there and watch a man who's not homeless to steal my content, live streaming my live streams against my permission, and then get paid to bully to bully and stalk someone, and they're calling me a grifter. I'm about to be back on the streets, and it's raining, gonna rain tomorrow, and y'all sabotaging me, me getting trying to get help. To stay out of the bad weather. <clears throat> Excuse me. So. I mean as I said. I not, not only have to ask for. Help out of the rain. But I, I need to find a way. To see if I can get like some extended stay. Or more support and more help. For like hotel room. Or whatever off the streets. The ga They gang stalked me away from my apartment. And threatened my life. And I can't stay in the same place for a long period of time until they gang stalk me away from places. They keep getting me wrongfully banned from everywhere. Thinking it's funny. I don't know who I can trust. So many, be a large amount of people betrayed me and I'm grieving my brother. And internet strangers think that they can tell lie to people and say that Candy is not grieving and Candy does not care about the family and Candy never did care and they don't even know my history. They're just gossiping and telling what they think they know and they don't even know my family. They don't know the true history and there are new people jumping on board. That fake Zach perp, I don't know how to get rid of him in my live streams.
That's like a demon that you're trying to get rid of, but you can't get rid of. But he won't go. That won't leave. So, I had to come back on here and um try to ask for. I got the information in the description box of just about all my videos. Um, you know, trying to get help off the streets, trying to get help with you know food hotel and the weather's changing so now clothes and hygiene products and also um you know maybe any um clothes and uber ride for the funeral so i have help with like 30 dollars so far and i'm trying to get whatever help i can get my um the social security security check is gone and the gang stalkers are working more desperate to slander and lie on me. I'm the one being slandered. I'm the one being gang stalked. I'm the one being cyber bullied. And Anthony came with another fake apology that's not sincere. And lying in his fake apology... Like he's been doing throughout the past, ever since last year. Just leave me alone. Why don't you stay away from me? Why don't y'all stay away from me? Instead of trying to control people, stalk, follow, and harass. And trying to be too intrusive in someone's life. When, you know, when, if you don't like someone, just stay away. If I don't like somebody... I don't stalk and follow and harass and try to control and destroy that person. But the stalkers must have threatened Miss Vicky's job or threatened something about her. And, and, and the same with Daughter of the King. They must have threatened something in order to get them to cave in. And But as I said, I... I think I, I thought daughter might have been sincere at first and then but just was gullible. But Miss Vicky, I think she was a, a deceiver and a perp the whole time. You know. So I intended intended to be on here for just five minutes, but I'm sorry I went way over my time. <coughs> Excuse me, but I mean as I was saying in my live stream, you know, the the Bible encourages people to you know help their even their enemies when they're down. But no, instead, like this fake Tene whoever this Tanea Marie perp, and another person I don't remember her name that another person sent me four four dollars and forty four cents, and then took the money back, and then this Tanea Marie sent me ten dollars and pretended to be Christian. Took, gave me ten dollars and then took the money back. I why why did she do that? Why or, you know they believe in the gang stalker slander about me. And they got so many gang stalk wicked gang stalkers pretend occultists and witches and Freemasons that pretend to be good people, pretend to be Christian, pretend to be holy, pretend to be righteous. In front of everybody, but behind closed doors, practicing satanic rituals and gang stalking people. And y'all know y'all made a deal with the devil. Goodbye. Good night.